We have a major issue on the sprayer. I'm gonna run over stuff. It just sucks. Now we're cooking with gas on the long rows now. Jeez, this is a mile long row. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hard Tongue Family Farms. And today, it's the next morning, card of this video right here. You guys can get caught up on everything I did yesterday, but I had a world record day or a record day for me. So Nathan just turned on the water a little bit ago, so I got a little bit of time before I can fill up. I'm basically going to continue spraying. I'm gonna do one load up here, and then we got the corn that we planted at the very beginning. Card of that video right here where we actually just started planting. Yeah, um, that corn's already up and I'm gonna be spraying it with flat tires, so we'll see how this goes. But for now, let's go ahead and air, or, uh, fuel, excuse me, fuel up the sprayer, then by that time, pull over here, load up, and get moving. So, um, yeah, this is a surprise. The workhorse is back. Our 340 Magnum is back. You notice how last night, like I said in the previous video, the tractor we had was the 310 Magnum. It was short, stocky tires, only had singles up front. But now, hey, our 340 is back. It looks like she's fixed. They got that back this morning, actually. Huh, that's kind of cool. So like I said, the transmission went out on this thing. One of the clutch packs did. Uh, how this transmission works, you basically got three different clutch packs, one to six, seven to 12, and 13 to 19. Well, seven to 12 went out, and this thing's been down for the last, and gone for the last month. But hey, looks like it's back. That's awesome. All right, let's go get the sprayer going. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. You got the mud band. Yesterday we got about an inch and four tenths of rain at the farm. We got two inches in Bellevue and I got a half inch at my house, which is a little bit north of Bellevue. So kind of crazy. Um, I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna meet up with a gentleman who likes to watch this channel of my son. So we're gonna go over and have a little talk with him. I mentioned his name on here before, but I've never had him on. So I'm gonna have a surprise little visitor here shortly. This here's a view from outside Subway. Like I told you before, I'm gonna meet one of my friends for lunch. So he is a big follower of Heart Tongue Family Farms. I'm gonna introduce him as Mr. Chad Raider. Hello, bud. Thanks How for taking doing? me to lunch today. Great spending some time with you today. And uh, it was a pleasure. Glad you invited me onto the show. You're my number one YouTube personality. And uh, I'd have to ask Cody, because I know he's been on the show before. Has Bud ever taken you for lunch? Cody. Have I ever taken you to lunch? That's a good question. I'm sure I'll hear about this one. Once again, you got the Bud Man from Hard Tongue Family Farms in beautiful, you know what, Jackson County, Iowa. All right, so here's the issue. We got the, got the sprayer, saw oil under the sprayer. That's not good, not good at all. So I didn't film a bunch, but basically after an hour of running around, calling the technician, calling our local dealer, I'm out and spraying and filling up and then spraying. We have a major issue on the sprayer, but it's not gonna shut us down for right now. It's going to eventually, we're gonna, basically what I have is I have a, a seal in between the engine and the gearbox that increases my speed and the hydros. Basically between the engine and the speed gearbox, there's a seal in there that's probably blown. And I'm starting to leak. Yeah, not good. So, we're gonna run it as is for today and hopefully get it fixed in the next week when it's gonna rain. Yeah, but either way, not good. Major failure. All right, just got the first load sprayed off. So I got basically eight acres left in this field that Pat planted last night. There's the planter right there, actually. So he's not running yet. Uh, he was actually just finishing doing up chores and stuff. But Nathan and Pat should be running here by by noon, I would guess. But either way, I'm gonna head down south, grab a lunch from Rhonda, head down south, and get spraying. There's a the neighbor planting. 16 row. Last year he had a, pla a flag on it. What the heck? Where's the flag this year? Got my lunch from Rana. Thank you. So now we're uh, heading south. Looks like we got a ham, cheese, and lettuce sandwich. Very good. Alrighty, guys, I just made it down here to the south farm, and man, the corn is up tall. Ah, uh, this sucks. And I, we didn't get down here earlier to spray it. Wish I had more time. 
What do you do? So I'm gonna load up and get this sprayed right now because, like I said, this corn is tall. Let's walk out and take a look at this corn that we're gonna plant. Or sorry, that we're gonna spray. It's a little tall. We are well into V2, almost V3. That basically means the veget so it goes VE, vegetative emergence, V1, first leaf, V2, second leaf, V3, third leaf. And these little buggers is what I'm out here to try and kill. If they get any bigger, they're gonna start robbing nutrients from away from this corn plant. So that's why I'm out here right now. But the problem is I wish I was out here two weeks ago spraying. So I'm gonna have to run over some corn plants. I'm actually probably just gonna run this field at an angle just because I don't, corn this tall, if you run it over, it's gonna severely damage, if not kill it. I'm just gonna run this field at an angle just because we planted this field two days before anything else, even on this farm. So that is why it's gonna look weird. I, it sucks doing it. I absolutely hate doing it. I've never had to do it before, but we're just behind this year, unfortunately. Still have our floater tires on. We want our floater tires on for the rest of our ground, but it's gonna have to make do for this field. So let's get her done. Just priming the boom right now, getting product all the way out to the, to the tips. It's good enough. I wish this was automated on the deer boom. It's automated, but what do you do? All right, let's get spraying. Let's get killing corn. Well, I'm gonna run over stuff. This is what it is. My tire is 25, 26 inches wide, whatever 650 divided by 25.4 is. And the rows are 30 inches wide. So I'm gonna run over stuff. It just sucks. We're rolling. Right here is the rock point where we disc down and field cultivated it. It actually planted really nicely. So this stuff, like I said, was planted three days after the field we just sprayed, the taller stuff that you guys saw. Yeah, you can tell it's a little bit farther behind. Right here's actually where I broke my disc. Yeah. Look how sandy this stuff is. Whew. This is what I call the hose of shame. Happens to me about once a year at least, but I have a feeling with this current water tender system and the much more efficient acres that we have, I'm gonna be having the hose of Shane a lot more. It's basically just quicker instead of hosing it in there and only be able to suck up. Because on this tank, you can only get, you have to leave about 50 to 100 gallons in the bottom of the tank because it just can't suck it up. So it's just quicker and easier just to go straight into here. So, but yeah, with this efficient farm ground, 150 acres of just flat going, I can really burn through the water. So 1,500 gallons as a max capacity is not much to keep up with me. Plus, we can't ever fill this thing up more than halfway when we pull it down the road. So yeah, that's like less than 700 gallons. That's a, a, of a buffer in front of me. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna be waiting a lot here for a hose. Luckily, I only need another 50 gallons or so and then I'll be ready to roll. It's nice agitation right there. All right, let's load up and go. Oh, I love this place. Don't even have to fold up to get into these patches. Sweet. Well, not a lot going on and really just going back and forth in this field they're just cruising at 15 mile an hour knocking acres out see how sandy this hill is yeah this isn't going to produce much of a crop i mean that's basically a beach oh let's fill up and uh probably have to wait some more now we're cooking with gas on the long rows now geez this is a mile long row i don't know what to do with myself I'm just here for like a minute or so, and it's just, it takes forever to get to the end of the field. I don't know what I'm doing. 230 instant acres an hour. 
on mile long rows you can get a lot done. Wow. One and a half passes left. Fun. All right, let's go ahead and fill up a half a load and call it a day because I need to get going. My brother's graduating tomorrow, so I'm heading to Des Moines at four and it's three o'clock right now. Sorry, wifey, not gonna make it. On time at least. This is the first for me. I've hauled grain on this row before, but I've never taken a sprayer on it. Just got finished up. I am in a hurry. I'm not filming much. <sighs> We're all done. Oh, that nice planter. 16 row splitter. Sweet. That's off planting. He's in the big 100 acre field right across the road from Grandma's. Looks like he almost got it knocked out, actually. We'll see, but I'm just about home and I don't have time to chit chat around. We gotta get moving. Oh, hey, look, there's Amber. I'm trying to block out the light. That's why I'm kind of tall. Anyway, uh, yep, stay, stay, try to block that out. I have some old footage from my dad. I'm gonna throw that in here right now. The Bud Man always gives an interesting perspective. I gotta get his footage in. And be sure to stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have a lot of videos getting cranked out in these next week or two. I'm a little bit behind. I do apologize for that. It's been a hectic spring so far. But here's the Bud Man, and thanks for watching. Good evening everyone, welcome to Hart Tongue Family Farms. It's about 7.30, it's gonna be a beautiful sunset tonight. It's a little chilly out, Brian's over here, you can see the dust out in the back, he's uh, spreading anhydrous. I just dropped off five tanks for him. Um, he is uh, gonna be working for a while, here comes Ronald with the sprayer, he's got the first load done. spray one more load and he's gonna get into that bad boy there and do some finishing work but uh like I said it's just a gorgeous night out it's a little windy a little cold not too bad but it is what it is we got about three quarters of an inch of rain down here I had uh, about an inch and a half up in Bellevue at the Bellevue farm and funny of that I only had a half inch at my house they had just over two inches in Bellevue so it's kind of sporadic uh, we needed the rain, springs are running good, it's getting there, we got to get the planter back out, probably, I don't know if you'll get out tomorrow or not, but we got to get things done, you guys be safe out there, I also got to say hi to Cody because he's a little upset with me because I took Chad Raider out for Subway the other day and he's jealous because he didn't get to go, he'll get over it. I still need to get him down here and get him in one of these trucks. This fall, he'll be in the truck. Also, before I sign off here, way over there is our another field finisher. So I bet that's going to get planted here soon over in that part there. So the big planter's in there. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. So be safe. Back in the old truck. I think old is the newer truck. It's the blue truck. I'm going to run over here and see what Ronald's doing. Filling up his tank, I do believe. So it looks like we got some work going on in the back there too, working on his pits. So. Like my knots? I didn't try that. Guess he don't like my knots. That's the mighty, we're just going down the road. We didn't want it to come off. spin and pull it out it's supposed to be kind of locked into place while it's too small to get locked in so take the take a wire and basically just wire the pin from the hitch we're going to find some wire the big planter's in there a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff going on so be safe all righty guys i'm on my way whoa my gosh one sec sorry that's better don't want to blind you guys at some of those corners but i'm on my way back home I'm just about home actually, like I said, it's 4.15, I am running late. My brother is graduating tomorrow, so we're heading out. I'm foregoing the farm for the weekend. We're gonna head out for his college graduation. He's getting his pharmacy doctorate degree or farm D or whatever they call it. So I'm heading out, the guys are all planting. We got uh, corn planter rolling, soybean planter rolling, and we're working ground in front of the corn planter too. So hopefully he can knock out like five, 600 acres this week or in these next two days before the rain hits. But anyway, let's close down this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram on Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, I'll for now.